Hello! This video is the beginning of a series where we build a high fidelity prototype from start to finish using React.js without knowing anything about React. <laughs> What's the sound he makes? <laughs> no, it's, it's just a... Okay, let's Google mm. Travis. Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's like 1.30... What's up, everyone? That's the sound. That's the yep, sound. Yep. Okay, so we are not Travis. I am uh, Matthias. Uh, on the internet, I'm known as MPJ. I normally run a YouTube channel called Fun Fun Function. You can check it out by clicking there. I have been a software uh, developer for uh, 13 years, give or take. Up until recently, when I started to get really serious about YouTubing, I uh, used to work at Spotify. I'm David, on the internet known as Data David. Uh, I'm an analyst. I'm not primarily a coder. I do code, sort of. SQL queries and stuff, uh, and I used to be a web designer. So, MPJ, where is Travis? Yes, where's Travis? Uh, so, Travis is on uh, what is it? Hiatus. Hiatus. Yeah, several videos on Which it. Yeah, yeah, when we rehearsed this before, you referred to it as vacation at Google. Thing is, he he he's kind of feeling like guilty that there's no content on the channel uh, while he's gone, so he asked us to uh, fill in for him. A little bit. What we're gonna do here is very different from what uh, I usually do on Fun Fun Function, which is a nice segue into the fact that we are not building a complete product, we are building a high fidelity prototype because we think that that could be very useful to uh, to you as a designer. You're limited by wireframes and balsamic and envision clickable images. We want to build something real, so when you show it to a stakeholder, they can actually use it and understand your entire idea and what you want to build as a real product eventually. Okay, so what is the benefits of doing what we are going to do in this series, a high fidelity prototype, compared to a, like a balsamic or envision uh, prototype? What we're building is actually working. You will be able to authenticate with the ser external services. We will use Spotify, but you could use Facebook or your Google account or whatever. It will be just like a real app. And if your company uh, and your backend developers expose their services in this way, like a OAuth API, which is very common, uh, you will be able to use the actual data that uh, from your users. So when you show your prototype to a stakeholder, they will see their stuff in your prototype instead of just some f mock data that you created. We are going to try to show you uh, the, the spirit of doing things in. Uh, in real life. So it's not going to be this paved tutorial path where everything uh, is successful all the time. Uh, and it's probably going to, if you are going to try to follow along, it's probably not going to be uh, our path that you're following. It's going to, probably going to be your path. We will give you the option to follow along at your pace through our commits on GitHub and looking at our deployments of the actual app in its different steps. The format of these videos is going to be very, they're going to be long. Long. Yes. Uh, and the reason for that is that we want to show you the whole process of, of building these things uh, with mistakes and all. Like if we find ourselves staring at uh, a documentation for 20 minutes in silence, then we're going to edit that out. But otherwise, we are going to leave uh, almost all of the stuff in. As we said before, we're going to build this high fidelity prototype from start to finish without anything installed, anything written, uh, anything. So we're going to be begin by doing some sketches. Yeah, uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, really practical things like installing Node and NPM that we're going to need uh, for installing React, which is the next step. Uh, and uh, then we're going to uh, start doing some dummy components yeah. with, uh, with uh, just some sample data, I think. Yeah. Uh, or not even that, I think it's just placeholders. Uh, and then we're going to introduce you to GitHub, some GitHub basics and how to uh, commit code. Then we are going to deploy this thing, our skeleton, to uh, to the internet using Heroku. Uh, and uh, after that, we're going to uh, create some uh, playlist components. Yeah, because we're going to uh, use the Spotify API uh, as kind of a placeholder for the thing that is probably when you do it, when you do high fidelity prototype, you're going to use the uh, your company's uh, backend so that you can get at your customer's data. And um, after that, we're going to uh, do some styling on it, which is probably the section where you are going to feel most familiar if you know CSS. 
Uh, and then we're going to authenticate with the Spotify API. Uh, basically log in so that you can get access to your Spotify data and uh, so that the app gets access to your Spotify data. And then after that, we're going to do an API integration, the actual pulling actual data from the Spotify API. And finally, we're going to create a more advanced aggregate component, um, which kind of does, we're not sure yet, it's going to do some kind of we we'll use the API and get some data and then do some like basic crunching of the data. Yeah, maybe like we don't really know. code a link of your playlist or something. Something that shows you uh, how to actually code. In the next video, we'll talk about why we're using React.js as a framework for building this prototype. I'm going to put it over my head here. Uh, so the idea with that episode is to understand why we are using React. Uh, and uh, so it's not going to be a lot of action. It's going to be us selling React to you, why React is good for this and 